So, Darren, it is officially day 45 of lockdown. How do you feel having survived longer in a pandemic than that geezer in 28 days later? Oh, you look real good in your blue jeans. Pretty good about yourself, eh? Hey? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, feel, I feel quite good. Um, I feel that, um, you know, I'm actually rocking a post-apocalyptic look um, yeah. at the moment. Um, and turns out the mobile phones still work and we didn't have to write on uh, uh, radios. Yeah. I haven't used a radio in many years. No, no. All right, cool. So, generally, Darren, how would you describe your mood recently? Um, yeah, my mood, I, I don't... I, <laughs> I, I always find that Monday and Tuesday, I'm always in a really bad mood. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I, I, I hate the world on a Monday and Tuesday. Sweater, but in a cocktail dress, I guess. You look. Uh, oh, Wednesday, good. slightly better. Thursday, a bit better. Friday, I'm over the moon. Saturday and Sunday, I'm the static. And then... All day it, Sunday, or most of the day, then there's like an hour before you go to bed where you feel just dark. I just feel like a, a, a um, nah, Sunday's all right. It's, it's, um, yeah, I, th I think it, there, there is a brief spell, or, or, you know, but, you know, but that's, the, it's not, you know, I, I'm quite happy that I get to go to work and earn money. But I think it's more of a situation. I'd rather just have someone give it to me, you know? Well, you know, you know, look, well, no, so I think it's more of a situation that, uh -huh. that makes me angry. I'm more angry at the, situation that I'm in. Okay, okay. So, um, apart from your work, how are you keeping busy? What have you been up to? Uh, I kill people online. Okay, okay. Uh, and I die online. That's the one. I play a, um, um, a popular game uh, called The Fair of War. By, yes. Uh, or the abbreviation is sometimes called Haddock. Haddock, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. I love a bit of the um, trend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now, to be fair, mate, this, this is... This, that, I don't play that during the week. That's just a weekend. Um, it's like heroin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and, and meth. Yeah. I mean, I just kind of bought a tiger zoo in Oklahoma, so... Got to stay clean in the daytime. But maybe just wait till tonight. <laughs> um, no, 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 it's... Um, Mate, I literally come home from work, I cook my dinner, I then watch, I, I want to know what Ted's been up to, so I watch a bit of that. Nice. And then at nine o'clock, I just go to bed and watch TV in bed. Yeah. That's pretty much it. I mean, what about yourself? Are you, how, are you, how, how are you coping? I'll be honest, I have reacted to things that usually I, I would just, be like, ah, whatever. I've just been like, nah, door shut, you're dead to me now. Uh, you know. Maybe that's just because I'm getting old. Who knows? Um, I'm just going to ask you, Darren. Uh, what do you think of the new Assassin's Creed trailer? How do you feel about potentially playing as a Viking, killing Yorkshiremen, I assume? I've got no problem killing Yorkshiremen. Ah, there you go. All right, then. That's, that's fine. No, uh, no, no. I mean, it's, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to kill one of my fellow countrymen. But when I play those sort of games, I, you know, I. I embody a Viking, so you know, just like I've for the last nine months, I've been Greek. Yeah. So I mean, instead of washing up, I just smash my plates. <laughs> That's so, costing a lot of money, though, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it saves time, but it costs me a lot more money. So now I just chuck paper plates. Less less impactful, but more resourceful. So that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, would you like to take a guess at approximately how many acres of woodland there are in Stevenage? And approximately of that, how much is ancient woodland? How many, what, acres of woodland there are in Stevenage? Yep. And how many of them are ancient? Yes, I believe it said uh, ancient is more than, or it's been around since like the 1600s, something like that. But you're gone with the wind, and I wish I was dead. Is that ancient? Yeah, apparently. 
I don't know. I genuinely, I don't know. Apparently, hundred approximately a hundred acre of woods and fifty acres of ancient woodland. Now, where, these, be, where are these fifty acres of ancient wood? Monkswood. That's what I've been saying. I've been walking around a lot. I've done a lot of miles recently. I think that's a lie. Even the sign is like, I don't know, 25 years old and they've built a load of houses on some of the woodland and just not updated the sign. Or it's just a flat out lie. Um, where did you see that sign? Just like hot Because I, I mean, I've lived in Stevenage all my life. I've never seen that sign. Uh, I'll take a picture of it. I'll, I'll find it. I'll take a picture. It's, it's in some trees, basically. I was, yeah, I was walking around because I, I ain't got nothing else to do. And I mean, actually, this is today. Shouldn't you be working? Yeah, should be, but they ain't pay me enough. Uh, so when Home was working from work on The Simpsons and he's just got the bird pressing the yes key. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then change it to the no. Exactly, yeah. Can I renew my insurance? No. You haven't read them. Anyways, so yeah, this happened today, I've just realised. So I walked outside, you know, as I do sometimes when it's not too sunny. There's a dead pheasant on the pavement. And I'm thinking, where the fuck's that come from? Um, and I, I was confused by it because like the position is between a, uh, well, there's a road, as there may be. There's a railing and then there's the gates for a school. So the pheasant is between the gate and the railing. So it's not like it got hit by a car and stumbled onto the pavement. Yeah. Someone's put it there. Why would you put a dead pheasant on the pavement? Anyways, I do my lap around the block. I come back. The dead pheasant's still there. It's not walked away. It's not reanimated. So I thought, <laughs> right, I'm not just going to leave a dead pheasant on the, uh, on the pavement. I'm not a savage. Come back here. Got a bin bag picked the uh, dead pheasant up and then uh, I'm walking back what the fuck do I do with a dead pheasant <laughs> just chucked it in a bin because I didn't know what I was out of my depth but the moral of the story is 100 acre woods I don't believe it <laughs> I mean you went off on a tangent there yeah yeah it's just because I remembered it I was like did that happen yeah no I did see a dead pheasant didn't I that was weird yeah I mean nothing really exciting happens like that in my life at the minute yeah. Down for long and full Like darkness in the temple